Hey everyone, most of you watching right now aren't actually subscribed to the channel. If you love staying on top of the latest tech trends and exclusive insights, hit that subscribe button right now. It's totally free, takes a second, and it helps us create even better content just for you. So show some support and join the semantic tech community. Today, we have some exciting news for Samsung fans, and it involves one of the most popular features of Apple intelligence in iOS 18.1. Samsung is gearing up to introduce its own version of Apple's AI notification summary in One UI 7.0. This feature has been a game changer for iPhone users and it looks like Galaxy users may soon be able to experience it too. Let's dive into the details of this upcoming feature and explore how Samsung plans to implement it. Apple's latest operating system update, iOS 18.1, includes an impressive feature that has quickly won over iPhone users. With Apple Intelligence, iPhone models like the iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, and the entire iPhone 16 series can now provide an AI-generated notification summary. So instead of waiting through a pile of alerts, users get a concise AI-crafted description highlighting each notification's key details. This summary feature works seamlessly, especially when you receive multiple notifications from the same app or service. And to help users identify which notifications have been summarized, Apple has added a small summary icon, a simple arrow pointing right with two lines of text above it. It's a handy visual cue that adds a touch of elegance to Apple's notification interface. Samsung seemed to have taken note of how popular this feature has become. In a recent beta version of One UI 7, Samsung introduced its take on notification summaries. While it's currently only available in Korean, there's hope that by the time the stable version of One UI 7 is rolled out, this feature, dubbed AI Notification, will it support English and perhaps other languages as well. Samsung's AI notification is set to enhance the user experience by simplifying how notifications are presented. However, there's one major difference. For now, this feature may only be available on Samsung's high-end Galaxy devices, such as recent flagship models. Mid-range Galaxy phones might miss out on this particular AI upgrade, at least initially. Popular leaker Chun Bai confirmed the news of Samsung's AI notification feature on X, formerly Twitter, who noted that Galaxy AI now includes a notification summary feature called AI Notification. While the specific devices that will support this feature haven't been confirmed, it's expected to appear on Samsung's latest and most advanced phones, possibly including the upcoming Galaxy S25 series. But Samsung isn't stopping at notification summaries. One UI 7.0 promises several additional enhancements that should make the Galaxy user experience even richer. Here's a look at some of the standout features that might accompany the One UI 7 update. One, homework help with circle to search. Imagine a feature that helps with schoolwork. Circle to search will assist users with math, physics, and history problems. Samsung is teaming up with Google to integrate videos and other learning aids, showing step-by-step -step explanations for complex questions. This should be a great tool for students. Two, enhanced lock screen. Samsung's improved lock screen will offer better visibility and personalization options, allowing users to keep track of important information at a glance. Three, new parental controls. Samsung is set to improve parental control features by integrating them directly into the system, eliminating the need for third-party apps, users to capture their favorite moments. Samsung's One UI 7.0 beta program is rumored to launch soon, and we're excited to see just how well the AI notification feature works in action. If Galaxy AI's notification summary feature matches up to Apple's, this could be a big win for Galaxy users who want an efficient, organized way to handle notifications. So what do you think of Samsung's move to bring Apple's notification summary feature at Galaxy devices? Will it live up to the high expectations or could Samsung even improve upon Apple's version? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this update, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech news and updates. Stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video. Samsung has finally removed all doubts about a new Galaxy Z Fold model arriving this year. If the leaks hadn't convinced you yet, today's announcement confirms it. The Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition is real, and it's arriving soon. But now, the big question is, how does this Special Edition differ from the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which was released just a few months ago? One of the first differences between these two foldables is their availability. While the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is available in various markets around the world, the special edition might be harder to get. Samsung has only announced it in South Korea so far with plans for it to reach China next. If you're in the West or other regions where the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is sold, you may not see this special edition on store shelves anytime soon. Samsung describes the special edition as the thinnest and lightest Galaxy Fold ever made. 
Measuring just 10.6 millimeters when folded, it's slightly thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which comes in at 12.1 millimeters. Additionally, it weighs 236 grams compared to the Fold 6 239 grams. Not a huge difference, but notable for those who prioritize portability. When it comes to dimensions, the special edition is wider than the Fold 6, both when folded and unfolded. This difference gives it a broader display, making it more user-friendly for those who are used to regular smartphones. The unfolded dimensions of the special edition are 157.9, 142.6x 4.9 millimeters, while the Fold 6 measures 153.5x 132.6x 5.6 millimeters. The wider design also leads to different aspect ratios. The special edition boasts a 2018 aspect ratio for its main display, while the Fold 6 uses a more traditional 4 to 3 ratio. This wider layout offers a slightly better experience for tasks like multitasking or viewing content. Samsung hasn't revealed much about any potential upgrades to the displays. However, we do know the special edition has an 8.0-inch main display and a 6.5-inch cover screen. In comparison, the Fold 6 has a 7.6-inch main display and a 6.3-inch cover screen. Both phones likely support 120 Hz refresh rates, but Samsung hasn't confirmed this. In terms of durability, the special edition is made with Barilla Glass Victus 2 for extra protection and it features a distinctive stripe pattern on the back. Its frame is made from armor aluminum, ensuring it stays tough against everyday wear and tear. One surprising difference is the lack of S Pen support on the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition. Samsung confirmed this on their South Korean store page. On the other hand, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 does support the S Pen, making it the better choice for fans of Samsung's iconic stylus, even though it requires a separate purchase and doesn't have a built-in slot for storage. If the S Pen isn't a priority for you, the Special Edition might still be appealing, but it's worth considering this omission before making a decision. Both phones pack serious power under the hood. They share the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy chipset, which first appeared in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This powerful chip ensures that both devices can handle demanding tasks with ease. However, the Special Edition stands out by offering 16 gigabytes of RAM as standard, whereas the Fold 6 comes with 12 gigabytes. This extra RAM helps the Special Edition manage tasks like Galaxy AI more efficiently. The Special Edition also ships with 512 gigabytes of internal storage, whereas the Fold 6 gives you options of 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or one TB. As for the battery, both models have a 4,400 mA unit, although Samsung hasn't mentioned if charging speeds differ between them. One of the most notable upgrades on the Special Edition is the primary camera. The Special Edition is equipped with a 200 megapixel main camera, compared to the 50 megapixel sensor on the Fold 6. This upgrade is significant and could be a game changer for those who prioritize photography on their foldable device. Other camera specs remain similar across both devices, including the telephoto lens and the four megapixel under panel camera. The special edition also has an advantage when it comes to connectivity as it supports Wi-Fi 7. This feature is only found on a few other Samsung devices like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, while the Fold 6 tops out at Wi-Fi 6E. Now, what about the price? The special edition will cost approximately $300 more than the Fold 6. In South Korea, the special edition will be priced at around 2 million. 789,601 or 2036 dollars while the 512 gigabytes fold 6 goes for 2,388,101 or 1743 dollars ultimately the galaxy z fold special edition brings some exciting upgrades like a larger display 16 gigabytes of ram and a 200 megapixel camera but if s pen support is important to you the galaxy z fold 6 might still be the better choice Either way, both of these foldables are top-tier devices, each with its own strengths.